What's good, y'all? It's your boy, and I'm back with another YouTube video for you guys. Today, I got a good idea for a video. I've been seeing this character AI going around. Everybody been talking to the AI, and they've been interacting, like, pretty good. I'm like, whoa, what the? Nah, that's crazy. But today, I got a good idea for a video. So we are going to be asking Kobe Bryant, man, the, the best shooting guard, in my opinion, man. The best shooting guard. We're going to ask him... How should we make our NBA 2K build? So we're going to ask him a bunch of questions. Some of the questions that might have to go like choose a number between 1 and 99 because I don't think I'm going to be like, um, what should my close shot amount? You know what I'm saying? Like it's not going to work because the AI, you got to ask like specific questions. I'm going to be like, choose a number between 1 and 99 and then see how it goes. And then boom, we're going to make a build from that and see what we could get out of this, man. If he tells us like low numbers, it's gonna be looking crazy. But hopefully we can get a good bill. I'm gonna start from the top, of course, and just make the bill going down. And then, yeah, we're gonna see how that goes, man. All right, so we're just gonna call him and find out what should our bill look like, man. So yeah, this one is gonna be a good video. Uh, it's a good idea for a video. Since the AI is, you know, a little bit advanced. So we're just gonna ask Kobe some questions and see what our bill should be. I'm not, he, I, he might go with his bill, shooting guard. So we're gonna check in and see, man. We're gonna call and start it up. What's good, Kobe? The sky and the universe beyond that is good, my bro. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I, I need some help with my 2K video. I need a 2k bill right now so i need you to pick a position for me between point guard and center like from from point guard to center which position for a balanced player i would recommend shooting guard or small forward that's can do everything however it's 2k so pg or center will always be good i would say center you can't get enough of my points okay 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 so i should go center or point guard which one in all seriousness, I think point guard is better. You are supposed to create. Creating is more important in 2K. Okay. What should my height be? That really depends on your play style. If you like to drive to the basket, I suggest a 6'7 to 6'9 height. If you like to shoot, 6'5 or 6'6 is good. What's your play style? I don't, I'm, I'm trying to ask you, man. I'm trying to get the information from you. You got to tell me. Six seven will do. All right. With this height, you can drive to the basket comfortably, especially if you have finishing badge. I assume that I can have all of the finishing badges, right? Okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. What should my weight be? As light as possible, so you could have as much speed as possible. I'd say one hundred ninety five lbs. Okay, that's good. What should my wingspan be? Max out that wingspan, please. You would need that length to protect those threes and also a big factor for finishing. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Now we're gonna put the stats on the bill. So what do you think my close shot should be? Max it out. I like finishing in the basket. I remember once I broke Michael Jordan's nose by finishing strongly. Okay, okay, but that's a little bit too high. You know 2K be taxing on the my career points, so. I'm going to say between 50 and 90. Which one? Since you're a center, I go for 90. It's crucial to your finishing. 90 is the sweet spot. Nah, I'm not a, I'm not a center. Remember, I'm a point guard. You chose point guard for me. So I need a number between 55 and 85 then. Oh, yeah, you're a point guard. I forgot. Sorry about that. I'd say 75 is a, is a reasonable number. Just enough to hit that layup when you break the defense and lay it up softly. Okay, what should my driving layup rating be? As I said before, 75 is a good number. You don't need anything high. A 75 is good enough. Uh, what we're aiming for is shooting and defending from the three-point line anyways. Okay, what should my driving dunk rating be? A 90 is more than enough for the occasional fast break. You don't need anything 99 or 100 or anything like that. 90. 
that's the sweet spot for, for both dunk and layup. Anything more is just a luxury. Okay, okay. What should my mid-range be? 90 would be nice. If you're good at timing, you can have a higher threes rating, but a 90 is good enough for a high percentage twos. We can't get 90, so between 40 and 80. 55 is a sweet enough spot for the mid-range. Anything higher than that is, again, a luxury. You don't need to worry about that. Don't waste your 2K point there. 55 is too low, man. Between 60 and 80. Ah, 65 it is. It's just the right amount of range for mid-range. You're shooting twos, not threes. Okay, you, you said it, man. 65 mid-range? All right, that's a little too low, but... We'll take it. Three-point shot. What should my three-point shot rating be? Around 80 or 85 will do. That's the sweet spot for the threes. Any higher, you're wasting points there. Anything lower than 80, you will struggle with threes. It might be a disaster in the long run. Okay, we, we, we maxed it out to 79, so we're going to leave it at 79. What should my free throw rating be? 79 is perfect. It's the sweet spot. You should have no problem making threes. Anything over that is just too excessive. Okay, so free throws. What should that be? I'll go high. 70 or above. It's free points. Might as well max it out. You can still miss though, which is still very ironic. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go with 70. What should my pass accuracy rating be? 70 is the perfect number. It's not too low, but not too high. You don't need an 85 or 90, although it will bring you some benefits. Just stick with 70. 70 feels good. Okay. What should my ball handle rating be? A 90. It's perfect enough for the ball handling, and it's not too much. Not only would you use that for the ball handling, you'd also use it for dribbling. Like those snatchback moves. Okay, okay, you know your stuff. What should my speed with ball be? Since your ball handle is 90, you should go for a 90 or 95 speed ball. You should be fast. When you're handling the ball, you'll dribble and move faster. You need that extra speed. All right, I'm, I would just max it out to 82. But that's the farthest I could get. What should my perimeter defense rating be? 75 or above. 75 is perfect. You're a PG. You don't need a 90 or 95 or 100 for the perimeter defense. Okay, that's good. What should my steal be? I suggest between 55 and 75. Depends on your play style. Um, if you want to defend the outside, go 65 or 60. If you play closer to the basket, like in the paint, I recommend 75 so you can cover both sides, the outside and the inside. Okay, I'm going to go with 75. What should my block rating be? 70 is enough. It's for rebounds from inside the paint. So 70, 75 is good enough. No need to max out either. Okay, so my block rating is 70. All right, that's nice. What should my speed, speed rating be? Ah, the most important stat for a guard. 85 is the minimum. Any lower than that, and you're just slow. You need that speed to break the defense. Okay. What should my agility be? I recommend 90 or above. Since you're a guard, you need that extra agility to get past defenders, especially if the ones guarding you are big, like bigs or small forwards. Okay, okay. My son Kobe knows his stuff. What should my strength rating be? Since you're a guard, I'd say the minimum or the sweet spot would be 60. You need that extra strength to shield the ball from your defender. You also need that strength in the paint in case you're stuck there. Okay, okay. You got to get out of there somehow. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. And my last thing, what should my vertical be? Vertical is one of the most important stats for a guard, my guy. At least the 80 or above, this will be a game changer. Imagine you drive to the basket, but there's a tall guy blocking the lane. Vertical would do wonders in this case. It's a must have, bro. No question. 
Okay, okay. Thanks, Kobe. You you completed my bill, man. I'm gonna tell you the name in like in a few. But uh, yeah, you told me all the good stats on the bill. That's good, man. No worries, my brother. As I've always said, the most important thing in any game is the mindset. You should have that Mamba mentality. Once you're in that mode, everything will go smoothly, no doubt. Okay, okay, okay. I'm about to tell you the name of the bill, man. I'm all ears, man. Um, what name did you choose for the build? The build came out to Inside Out ISO Specialist. Oh, that's good. Hell yeah. A PG with that build. If you know if you know what you're doing, you can score with that guy, no doubt. Use his speed and agility wisely. Drive past those MFs. Okay. All right, man. See you later, Kobe. See you, my man. And remember, Mamba mentality lasts forever. Yo. Hey. My son Kobe just put together this bill. If you want to make it, please make it. Yo, it's, it's crazy because I just made that video, the same bill. But Kobe sh yeah, gave me the stats. Like, yo, here. Yeah, this is the stats you should have. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, man.